Hi y'all, Garden Lady Zoe here. Um, it's been a while since I've been on. School started back and I've been really busy, um, but I sure have missed making videos. Back in, I think it was June, 1st of July, somewhere in there, I made a video about garlic, um, all kinds of interesting information about garlic and how to plant garlic. But at that time, it was really hot here. It was up in the hundreds. And so um, now, uh, first day of fall, um, it's to the point where it's in the, the 70s and low 80s every day. Weather's really, really nice. Um, so I thought I would get out here this morning and make a video about actually planting the garlic. Now, when I talked to you before about garlic, I told you that, um, you know, you can plant it in your garden. You can make a trench that's three to four inches deep, depending on if you want to add a little bit of uh, some kind of compost fertilizer into the bottom of the trench if you think you need it in your soil. Um, but I also mentioned that you can plant garlic in uh, flower pots and flower beds and containers of any type. Well, I'm gonna be planting my garlic in these huge, um, they're like tractor tires, but I think they came off of some other kind of road machinery. And uh, they were, someone gave a couple of them to us and uh, my husband cut off the top rim of them so that I would have more growing room inside the tires. So I'm going to use one of those today. I've got it full of all different kinds of compost. There's uh, mushroom compost in there that smelled really, really bad when we brought it home. Um, I almost thought that maybe that I smelled diesel or something. It smelled that bad. It was just an awful smell. Um, but it wasn't. It was just the mushrooms, uh, the decomposed mushrooms. Um, and so after uh, the summer, the soil had com compacted down quite a bit. And uh, I got some more bags of compost because we didn't have quite enough of our own that we've made to fill up both of these big tires. So that's what I'm using today. So I really don't need to add any additional fertilizer as I watch the garlic come up. If I think they need some more fertilizer, I will give them some more. Um, but uh, for right now, I'm just going to start with uh, what I have in there. It, it should be pretty rich soil. Um, one reason why I like to grow my own garlic is because if I grow my own garlic, I know that when I pull it out of the ground out in the garden and bring it in the house, that it's fresh. Um, it hasn't been sprayed with any pesticides. Um, and as easy as it is to go to the grocery store and buy a big container of garlic cloves that are already peeled and ready to go, to me, they don't taste good. Um, they put some kind of preservative on that garlic so that you can keep it in your refrigerator for a lengthy amount of time and it doesn't go bad. Well, that's kind of scary to me. I don't want something. I don't want to eat something like that and it doesn't taste good anyway. Um, I don't even care for the garlic that's been canned in, I guess, some kind of salt water solution. Um, I like pickled garlic and that's about it. So I prefer to, um, grow my own garlic. That, that way I know exactly um, what I'm eating. I know that it doesn't have anything on it that I don't want on it. Um, if you're interested in learning more about garlic, I did post that video, um, I think it said two months ago. I couldn't believe that it was that long ago. But anyway, um, uh, you can go back and watch that. Uh, so today I'm, I'm going to go ahead and get started on planting the garlic. Um, I'm going to move the camera down here so you can see what I'm doing instead of seeing me. I might need to put it down here on the ground so you can get a better view. Um, this is the area in this tire where I'm going to be planting the garlic. Um, as you can see, I have the, the garlic soaking in water. You're really supposed to do it overnight, but I forgot to do it last night, and I thought, you know, I better get it in the ground because we've been having rain on and off for the last few weeks. Um, and I thought, if I don't get it in the ground, um, I'm never gonna get it in the ground. So um, 
I've already poked the holes in the ground and what I used was the handle of a shovel. Um, the handle of the shovel that has like a, a grip on it that's about three to four inches long and um, I just used uh, the handle to poke the holes in the ground. That way they're a nice size um, in diameter and um, also they go down pretty deep. If I don't feel like I need it that deep, then I can always fill it in with a little bit of dirt. I thought this was a really nice size uh, clove of garlic. Not all my cloves were that big, um, but there were a few that were pretty good size. So remember when you place your cloves in the ground, that the little part that sticks up, um, the part where the root was on the garlic on the bottom, that is on the, on the bottom when you plant it. And this little part that sticks up uh, goes on top. So you can just stick it down into the hole. And then you go around doing this with all of your garlic cloves. If you think that your hole's a little too deep, you can always put a little more dirt in there so that your clove won't be down in the ground so quite so far. Um, like I said before, if you're gonna dig holes in the ground, like um, that are like three to four inches deep, if you don't need that extra fertilizer, like composted soil down in there, um, you may only wanna dig your holes about three inches deep. And that works just fine. I have about 20 cloves of garlic here. I'm just sticking the top part right down in the hole. That needs a little more soil down in there. There we go. A little more soil. As you plant them and you see, oh gosh, I, I put too much soil in there. Just add a little bit more and everything will be fine. That's another very nice size clove of garlic. Uh, it's best to plant as large of cloves as you can. Um, that way it will ensure your success even more with your garlic crop. But I use garlic for a lot of things, especially in the summertime, fresh garlic for canning. Because if I'm making fresh pickles, I always kind of like to put um, a clove of garlic or two in the jar of pickles just makes them taste really good. When you use um, powdered garlic, it just does not do the trick. All right, so now, I'm just gonna go back in and I'm gonna cover all of my garlic up with soil. Now this soil has not been compact. We have not watered this soil. I just put it in here, um, I think it was Sunday morning and uh, to fill up this tire, I think it took about five or six of those big bags of compost soil to fill it up. So now that I've got it all in the soil, I can just water it down. It's got a lot of uh, plant matter in it, um, which is nice um, because that means that whatever I plant in it won't have a hard time coming up. Uh, garlic sure won't. Um, 
Now for the leek, I have leek seeds, and um, I don't know if you've ever seen a leek seed or an onion seed, but they're absolutely tiny. Um, I don't think I would want to just scatter leek seeds out here in the soil and cover it with this soil. Um, I'm going to start some leek plants in my greenhouse, uh, but I've got to uh, get some good potting soil today to get them started. Um, I've got everything else I need. Um, so every day I'm, I'm going to get some hay too. I've got to hit up one of the farmers around here to see if they'll have any old uh, rotting hay that they don't want and uh, bring some hay in and once I get um, the hay I'll cover up the area where I planted the garlic and I'm going to come out here every day to start with as long as I think I need to to keep this wet so that the garlic will, will come up and uh, if I get some hay on top of it then that'll make it even better to hold in the moisture and the garlic will just kind of uh, be in there. It, it'll be in there all through the winter into spring until it's ready to harvest uh, next summer, probably around the end of June. Um, so I'll just keep putting hay over it uh, for winter time to kind of keep it uh, protected from the wind and such because uh, winter time in Oklahoma, whether it's really cold or not, it gets really, really windy. Uh, I have a few other things I want to plant and I'll make some more videos, um, but right now I'm working on getting my, my garden all cleaned up. Uh, got a lot of pigweed that came up because I was busy with, with schoolwork and uh, that, had, that, was, that was my first priority and it should be. So um, anyway, but I'm going to get out here and finish cleaning up my garden and everything and get it ready. But I. I want to plant my, probably some beets and carrots in, in my other tires. I, well, I've got a smaller tire and I've got another large tire as well. So, um, and then maybe just use one little portion of the garden for planting a few things because for fall, I really do want to get some beets in the ground really quick here, um, along with some turnips, um, some carrots. Um, I really liked those golden beets that I grew last summer. They were super sweet. They were really, really good. I would definitely like to grow some more of those with some, um, maybe some spinach and lettuce uh, so we can have some greens. Uh, but that's about it for today. If you guys have any questions about anything, please let me know. Um, and I hope to get another video made here real soon. See you next time. Bye.